Hello! We're back from our Stardew Valley. Oh, hold on before we do anything else. I'm looking at the weather report. It'll be a light breeze tomorrow. Okay. We're back from our Stardew Valley, like I said. Apparently Marnie's at my door. Hello! See this dog here? I do. It's kind of hard to miss. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor thing. So, hey, seems to like this place. Ham, hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? We adopt the dog. Yes, of course. Um, I'm just gonna shuffle it because I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're going with Frickers. <laughs> You'd be a good pooch now, okay? Will do. Anyways, we're back. Our parsnips are done. Um, let's see. Oh, a new fishing pole. Okay, I got some more mail. Whoa. Um, closing the drilling. Okay, so the big boulder, um, closing off the mine is gone now. Cool. Well, let's start off by watering our plants and harvesting the few parsnips we have. Before I build a coop, I want to build a silo, so I'll have to go and check how much that is and what all I'm gonna need for it. But I don't honestly remember what we left off on last time, so we're just gonna start back up and j just continue on. I'm almost certain the community center unlocks today. I think you just have to go out between like 8 a.m.? Is that correct? Am I crazy? Aha! Okay. Hi, Lewis. Oh, hi there. There's a dandelion. What an eyesore. Oh, I skipped that. My bad. <laughs> this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah well. If anyone else buys a Jojico membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Don't fret, Lewis. I am not allowing them. Let's go inside. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing around in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. And this is where Lewis starts to think I am psycho. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? He thinks so. You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if, it, if this place was full of rats. If I was little Junimos, I'd be offended if he called me a rat. You're worrying me. <laughs> Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. It's only like 9 a.m. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. I'm actually going to be doing loads more. I'm going to completely rebuild it. That's just me, though. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. For oh, I'm just here. Well, never mind. We're just going to go straight in if we're already here. <laughs> we got to go read the little note box whatever thingy. So then the wizard will want to talk to us. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. Okay. Now we are done here, I believe until tomorrow, because the wizard should give us a little letter and he's going to invite us over and cast a magical spell on us and we'll all of a sudden be able to read everything. 
you guys still i will admit i am recording this before the other episode has gone out so i'm making another announcement that you guys have to help me decide who we are picking we're gonna sprint to robin's hey oh my god four thousand <gasps> it's only a hundred oh i don't have copper yet though well so we'll need five copper bars so that's like what 25 copper ingots hi linus please don't destroy my tent it's happened before don't fret i would never even though i did kind of break into it last episode but it's fine okay hmm i was just peering down into this old mine shaft it's been abandoned for decades Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. It's not undisturbed because Sebastian apparently went in there last episode. Here, take this, you might need it. Sword! You received a rusty sword. Name is Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Bet. The first couple levels are pretty tame. I don't know if you even get any copper from these, but I need rocks anyway, so I guess I'll take it. I am not the best at combat. I would just like to put that out there. <laughs> I kind of just go for it and hope. I am not entirely sure what ores are valuable to keep versus ones that you should like sell and whatnot. Any input on that would also be great. <laughs> Ah, ah. Okay, hallelujah. Well, look at that. We made it to level five. Honestly, I... Well, we got 11. Basically got half of what we need, so I think that's good enough. Let's get out of here. Let's spend the rest of the daylight foraging. Anything we can find will give us a little bit more money. <gasps> what? I didn't know she was here. I forget she's here on Fridays. A rare seed! Okay, well, I'm too broke for that. <laughs> okay, well, that's a shame. Okay, well, so far we're having terrible luck for forageables, so that's unfortunate. Okay, we actually made more money than I thought we would. Now we have enough money for the silo, it's just a matter of getting the five uh, copper bars. Hi, Clint. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I have an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. Yay! Learn how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a copper... Blah, blah, blah. Smelted a few copper bars. Consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make you work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Bye. He is the most awkward person in this whole thing. There we go. Okay, so we also need to make a trip to the wizard today. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in the Adventurer's Guild. Okay, well, that shouldn't be too hard. Hey. Ah, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediator between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred cha- you get the point. Yeah, you're just a little bit everything. And you, Brickle, <laughs> the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here I'd like to show you something. Behold! Pow. I'm surprised just from this alone, the Junimos don't riot <laughs> and come after all of us. You've seen one before, haven't you? Uh-huh. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I wonder why. Maybe because you have one trapped? I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. 
Yes, what, what was I trying to read? Scribbles. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Pow. There he goes. <laughs> I found the note. Uh-huh. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with forest, you will see the true nature of this scroll. I am not one with the forest, clearly. Hmm, one with the forest, what do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Aha! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come here! My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool, can you smell it? I'm sure it smells disgusting. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. You would never catch me doing this, by the way. Yeah, and now we're gonna start seeing leaves and trees everywhere. I don't know what he did, but... <laughs> Ooh, spooky trees. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Yay! I like how he just kicks me out, doesn't say anything else. I'm just seeing weird shapes and stuff, and then he's like, okay, bye. Okay, we are gonna make our way. We're gonna make our way to the mines. Spend the day mining, and hopefully get enough copper. What do I need to make a furnace? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I need so much copper ore. We're just gonna go and try and get as much as we need. We need like 45 then. We're gonna mine today, and then hopefully we get enough. Tomorrow we will come and put the stuff we have in the community center. Let's see what he has to say. Well, I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. What do you want? Okay, grouchy. So yeah, tomorrow community center stuff, and we'll take the stuff to Gunther. Pow. Back it up, buddy. Now we're gonna- oh, I was gonna say, well, I hope we found the ladder, but it's there. <gasps> we already made it to level 10? Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Please. Please. Okay. I am just gonna look through this level and get all the copper and stuff. And we're just gonna escape. Cause this isn't going well. Okay, escaping before we die. Let's pop in here since we're over here. Hello. Cool. Well, we're gonna move on. I usually don't go to the Adventure Guild for ages. I forget about it half the time. I never take the time to talk to people. So I always have like one person with full hearts and then nobody else with anything. Maybe that should be my goal for these videos is to actually take the time to talk to people. Okay, before we do anything else, we'll get that going. Yay! And then we'll get that also. Oh, boom! Look! I don't know, for now I guess I'm putting that there. <laughs> We're gonna put the scarecrow right kind of in the middle. Hopefully it does something. Uh, let's see. We're gonna take all of these to the community center. Okay, so all of this we can take to Gunther. I think we're gonna head to the library first just because that actually has a time it closes. The community center doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Guess we have another cutscene. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Don't worry. I have some in my pocket right now. Hello? What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I don't actually have to think about it, so you could just take them now. Donate. Okay. Eventually I'll organize it, but for now I'm just gonna we're just gonna place some things. 
Yay! Okay, flying up to the community center. And then, once again, we're gonna head to the mine. <laughs> because I really want to make that dang silo. That's gonna be our main goal. Um, uh, this one. Spring! Hold on, I gotta put them in order. That one, that one. Leak. Dandelion. Yay! What do I get? 30 spring seeds! Okay, how many does it unlock? When? <gasps> does it unlock the fish? Yay! Okay. I didn't bring the fish for nothing! We're gonna go back to the mines. And hopefully get our last bit of copper. If we get enough that I could upgrade my, uh, either my axe or my pickaxe, that would be great. If there's any tips on combat, I would love to hear them. Oh, 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 what is happening? Why you gotta give me bugs right now? There's two. I hit, oh, there's three? Oh my gosh, oh no. Oh my god, hello, stop. Oh my god. Hold on, what is happening? Why is there so many? They just keep coming. This does not seem fair. Oh, hello, y'all. Go away. Now they're just making fun of me. Like, what is this? Jeez. That was dumb. Oh my god, another... Okay, all plants are watered. We're gonna spend the rest of our energy <laughs> getting trees and uh, rocks. Because I don't think I have enough of those to get the silo. Oh no, I don't even need wood. I just wasted my time. 10 clay and 100 stone. Well, that is unfortunate. It only costs, what, 100 for the silo? So I think we should run down to Willy's and see how much the new fishing rod costs. Because getting an upgrade of one of those will make fishing a whole lot easier. Fiberglass, 1800. Gah. We should be able to afford that tomorrow. Because we technically will need 1900 to be able to afford the silo and the fishing rod. I think it's doable. I really need to spend a day just cleaning the farm because this is getting a little hectic. <laughs> and off to the community center. It's going to be a lot of back and forth for a bit, especially until we get enough money to start actually unlocking things. Okay, we'll go down to the beach and we're going to try and find some clay. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to get the 10 we need. We'll run up and see if she is still there so we can get the silo. And if not, we'll come down and get the fishing rod. Because I think it was 1600. Oh, <gasps> no way I can't even do that. <laughs> Are you for real? That is really unfortunate. I couldn't do anything that I wanted to do. Okay, of course there's like no forgeables anywhere, but that's fine. Um, while we're down here, I never say hi to the wizard, so maybe we should switch it up and actually go and talk to him. I don't know if you can just go talk to him willy-nilly. I never tried, but I'm pretty sure you can become friends with him. Hey, oh, he is here. Well, he's not the nicest individual, but it's okay. He's probably just sassy with us because everyone always ignores him. I say maybe y'all will have mixed reviews about this. I say we're going to leave it here. Um, we're gonna save all the extra fun farm building stuff and the fishing rod for next time. We actually completed a decent amount. We started doing the community center, got one of those bundles done, even though I basically collected all that in the first episode. Um, started getting through the mine. What else did we do? I don't know. We started farming. We started clearing off our thing. I don't know. Leave some ideas of what I should do in this series below. Like I said before, I don't know a whole lot about the game. I kind of just know the basics and how to like slightly progress, but I would love to know more. Um, but yeah, with that, me and, um, frickers here <laughs> are gonna call it quits. So, hope you enjoyed. I will see y'all next week. Bye!